Israel's prime minister has made his feelings clearer than ever on Iran. Benjamin Netanyahu told a meeting of the U.S. most influential Israeli lobbyists, negotiations with Tehran were a waste of time and only military action may make the difference. RT's Paula Sleer has more. The Israeli prime minister is at it again, addressing his favorite topic. Words alone will not stop Iran. Sanctions alone will not stop Iran. Sanctions must be coupled with a clear and credible military threat if diplomacy and sanctions fail. Strong statements from a leader emboldened by a new group on power. Netanyahu warns the American Israel Public Affairs Committee Iran is using international negotiations to buy time so it can press ahead with its nuclear program, a message he's warmed to in the past. How do you stop it? Well, you have to put greater pressure on it. They have to upgrade the sanctions. And they have to know that if the sanctions and diplomacy fails, they'll face a credible military threat. That's essential. Nothing else will do the job. And it's getting closer. So much for the sigh of relief many breathed following last month's parliamentary elections. The surprising win by centre and pro-peace political parties prompted many to believe Netanyahu would back down from his threats to strike Iran. Ask those on the street who voted against Netanyahu. They feel their message was clear. Take your finger off the trigger in your threat to attack Iran. Give economic sanctions and diplomacy a chance. But analysts aren't so sure Netanyahu has any intention of toning down the rhetoric. Netanyahu is a man which is very much concerned about his position in history. And he understands that now his third a prime ministership. I'm afraid that one of the reasons that he would like to foster an attack against Iran is to place himself at the history of the Israeli uh, people. And it's making the Israeli public nervous. Daniel Benari's company sells a system that provides ventilation in bomb shelters in times of chemical or biological attacks. He says each time Netanyahu mentions Iran, the number of queries goes up. Some people prefer not to think of the threat, but it's there and they know it. So we have clients just calling to find out about the system, but who have difficulty deciding to buy one. And then we have some people who are more alert. These are the people who, as soon as there is some tension in the media, will call and order the system. You know, a lot of worry is good for business, and that's really how problem in Israel, we, where so many money go on that matters. Ronnie Edry is an Israeli graphic designer who accidentally created an online movement after posting a Facebook message declaring that Israel would never bomb Iran. Other Israelis quickly created their own posters with the same message and Iranians responded in kind. But they're up against Netanyahu and his more powerful message. I think a big part of it is people voting out of fear, out of, uh, you know, being afraid of a war coming and he's the one, you know, fighting the war. Relentless speculation about a possible Israeli strike on Iran is also keeping foreign investors away. Many are wary that while war might mean big business for some, it spells disaster for others. Paul Oslia, RT, Tel Aviv. The APAC conference also saw hundreds of activists protest against the U.S. close relationship with Israel. Medea Benjamin, a human rights campaigner, thinks people should be concerned about the nature of the meeting. APAC is really a danger to our national security. APAC is pushing the policies of a foreign government, I Israel, which is not always in the interests of the United States, and I should say is not always in the interests of the Israelis either. I think this uh, push towards war with Iran is disastrous for uh, everybody in the region as well as us here in the United States. We're looking at a conflagration of tremendous proportions, so much so that there are those in the U.S. military that are trying trying to hard to stop this because they know how disastrous the U.S. getting uh, into such a conflict would be. In fact, it would be very easy for Iran to retaliate against U.S. embassies, against U.S. troops that are stationed in many places around the world. Uh, so I think that this uh, push by AIPAC uh, is really something that all of us who are rational human beings and know that uh, a war would be so disastrous have to pressure our president not to follow uh, the lines of AIPAC and instead to pursue diplomacy.